Okay, so today we're going to be looking at a Dell Inspiron 23. This is an all-in-one computer and the model is a 5348. Um, we're just going to be showing you how to do a disassembly here. So this one's actually pretty simple. Um, to first uh, take everything apart, you're going to want to put the all-in-one on a surface where the screen can't get damaged. So we have a piece of styrofoam here that we've put the um, computer face down on so that the glass is uh, not rubbing up against the desk um, or hitting anything that could potentially uh, damage the screen. Uh, first thing I want to do is there is this little uh, button here. You want to push that in, and then you should be able to uh, lift the hinge cover out, lift it up like so, and you should be able to pull it straight out like that. Once that is off, there are no screws holding the bottom in, so you can use a pry tool. This is one from iFixit. Um, if you have a guitar pick or a credit card, something like that, that will also do the job. Um, we're just going to pry at the bottom right here and lift up and work our way around the machine. And you should hear those plastic tabs start to clip and you should be able to just lift it straight out like so. And you can see this one's actually quite a bit dusty, but at this point we have access to a large portion of the board. You'll notice that there are a bunch of things that are underneath shields, so you're going to have to remove those to get access to the motherboard or the hard drive. Um, but we see right here, this is our power supply. We have our fan and our heat sink. The uh, motherboard is actually underneath here. And of course we have a, another fan here, which is for the power supply. And this is the inverter board for the actual screen. And um, we also have this over here, this cage. Um, if we lift this up, we can replace our memory underneath here. And we have this, which covers the hard drive and the rest of the motherboard. So to remove that, um, there aren't any screws that we have to remove. Just push down on this little tab here, and we should be able to pull this board out like so. And it should lift right up. And you can see we've exposed the board, um, or a portion of the board, I should say, where we have our wireless card if you need to replace that. Um, again, this is our heatsink and our processor. Um, the processor in this model is a uh, in a socket, so it can be removed, it can be upgraded, it can be replaced, um, which is nice. Um, we have our memory here. This looks to be a single uh, four gig stick of DDR3L, uh, 12800 speed on that. And then this is the hard drive. Um, for this instance, we're replacing the hard drive with a solid state drive. So we're gonna want to take this out. And I don't know if you just saw what I did there, but I pushed down on this tab and the drive pulls out like so. And then you have this drive caddy, which again has no screws. So you can actually replace the hard drive in this machine without needing to take out any screws, which is um, quite great that they've decided to do that. So as you can see, I've just pried that off and uh, took the hard drive out. We're gonna replace that with a solid state drive for the customer. All right, so I went ahead and got a solid state drive that we're gonna be replacing the regular drive with. This is a Mushkin Raw drive. And um, to install a new drive, all you gotta do is flip the caddy over and align these little um, metal pegs there onto the sides of the hard drive. And once that's secured, you can put it back in and slide it back and it should click in. This uh, little plastic should click in and now the new drive is in. And uh, we're also gonna be upgrading the memory of this. So we're gonna take out this single stick of four gig and we're gonna put a second stick, uh, identical matching stick with the same speed. Uh, like I said before, this is, uh, we're using two four gig sticks, uh, PC3L 12800S. And now that those are two are in, um, we can pretty much put the machine back together. If you had to replace the motherboard, all you would have to do is uh, there are three screws here and this, uh, or four screws actually, there's uh, one here as well. And this uh, bottom piece will come out and then you'll have access to the two screws underneath here that hold this shield down. And of course you can remove the shield and uh, everything like that. So with that being said, now we're going to put everything back on. We had our shield here. So we're going to just slide it in like so and make sure that this metal uh, tab is going underneath like that and then you can slide it back on and that should clip back into place. And then we have this shield right here for the memory and that went in there like so. Push that on. 
And now that that's on, you can put the bottom back on. Snap this all back together. Put this down. And make sure that you go around all sides, make sure that the plastic is clicking in. And then once that's done, you can put the hinge back on. Make sure that that clicks into place. And that's uh, pretty much it. So that's how to take apart and replace the hard drive and memory on a Dell Inspiron 235348. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. If you like our videos, uh, feel free to hit like and subscribe for more videos in the future.